Right, I'm known as uh, Siti Kasim and uh, basically uh, my profession is a lawyer. Um, as a lawyer, actually, um, well, some of them call me like human rights lawyer because um, we, well, just not me, actually, I'm, I belong to a committee for Orang Asli uh, under the Bar Council. Um, so through this uh, committee, uh, we do a lot of work for the Orang Asli. Naturally, I always have this thing about rights, you know, I, I think it is something that you cannot learn. It is, uh, you can learn in a sense that whether you like it or not, it has to come from you. So from, from I think maybe from young, I've always uh, believed that, uh, you know, there's some rights that we should uphold, you know, that we should speak up for ourselves. what I call is a tragedy yeah, in the post Tohoi, Guam Sang. It's how uh, our government, you know, it's, it's a disaster uh, waiting to happen, to be honest. We, we actually asked for the casket. Nah. We thought at least some kind, something decent, lah, you know, you should give something decent. This one just a box, you know, a box that looks like a cupboard. And that makes me really angry again. I mean, it's not every day the Orang Asli asking for help, you know, to bury their kids. You see, what they think is that oh, about giving houses, you know, like all these brick houses. They think by giving brick houses, everything will solve problem. No, this because they don't want to understand the Orang Asli. Uh, you know, this is the problem. We must respect their culture leave them alone but you must assist we must help them to provide access to education health and everything if they decide they don't want to go to school don't force them so you've known them yes these are the young orang asli mm -hmm. activists uh -huh. uh, and um, they have been going around as well they have been following us when we do our trip uh, you know, like usually when I go in, I go with uh, Kasma, who is from Suhakam. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, a lot of the Orasli they follow us around mm -hmm. to see, actually, to hear what we have to tell them. And uh, they have been really good. Uh, you know, like Nusi and Robin, they are the young Orasli activists. Mm -hmm. So we are hoping these are the young uh, Orasli will spread the information to their own people. Uh, their culture is something we must treasure, you know, uh, our indigenous people. Saya mengenali Kak Siti lebih kurang baru juga sebenarnya, hampir tiga tahun. Tapi saya lihat uh, beliau banyak mengetengah-tengahkan isu orang asli lah. Sebab saya nampak banyak orang luar yang tak berani untuk masuk ke puasi. Mungkin persepsi mereka rasa takut ke, rasa tak lepas balik ke. Tapi uh -huh. saya melihat kepada Kak Siti beliau salah satu punya semangat di mana Beliau sanggup masuk ke kampung orang asli, sanggup menetap di pendalaman-pendalaman kampung asli dan mengetengah-mengetengah ke isu-isu yang memang kita tak nampak pun sebenarnya. Kemunculan macam Kak Siti dan orang-orang yang Kerakan. tahu tentang uh, prinsip asas uh, human right dan juga prinsip asas uh, UN Drip, kami dapat mendedahan dekat situ. Dia membantulah untuk kami sebarkan kepada rakan-rakan kami, kampung-kampung lain. Saya mewakili rakan-rakan juga sebenarnya rakan aktivis mengucapkan rasa terharu lah juga kerana kepada Kak Siti kerana beliau banyak buat kerja lah buat kerja beliau banyak mengajar kita undang-undang peraturan dan juga yang kami ni sebagai orang asli kami kami ada hak kami ada hak sama rata dengan masyarakat yang lain dan hak kami termasuk dalam perlembagaan juga. Itu sajalah saya rasa. Saya tak nak cakap apa-apa. <laughs> Jasa dia saya memang banyak dan kami tidak dapat balas. Cuma Tuhan yang dapat balas dia. <laughs> tak ada lah, tak minta balas pun. <laughs> yeah. anyway, thank you so much, yeah, Nasi. You know, I don't expect you all to say anything lah, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs>